Hi guys, welcome back to La Deutsche Vita, Life in Germany, Made in Germany. My name is Phoebe, and as you guessed right, today we are in the kitchen. I'm going to share with you a recipe of one of my favorite, current favorite foods to eat. It's the asparagus sauce with coconut and chicken, okay? You can use any meat of your choice, you can use um, any vegetable, but now it's asparagus season, so we are going to use asparagus and just, you know, let me just say this. Ever since I've been in Germany, it's been over a decade, a decade and a half, okay? I've never actually bothered or ventured to cook asparagus sauce. So, I'll see people eat it, I'll see people buy it, and I'll be like, what, what is this? Spargel, 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 what is spargel? So then I decided to, you know, go online, check what I can do with it, and I saw the spargel with hollandaise sauce. It didn't look like my kind of thing, Then I saw this recipe, and I made it my own with a little bit of twist to it. So guys, join me on this recipe, join me in cooking, and hey, if you know me, you know food is my passion. Because I love food. I, I live for food, okay? <laughs> so guys, join me today, and let's get started. About chicken marinated i'll tell you the ingredients in a bit the ingredients of the marinade in a bit we have our spargel we have our coconut milk we have our lemon and then of course we shouldn't forget our olive oil so now let's start with the spargel usually the green spargel you don't have to peel it um, but this one has a bit of a thicker skin Similar to the white spargel, the white spargel always has to be peeled, but this green one also has a thick skin, so we have to peel it in order to enjoy um, eating it, to have it easier. So we're going to peel it. So we have the ends. All right. Now, one thing is in cutting your spargel, um, you don't have to cut it in a blunt way, more like a slanted way. All right. So I hope you can see it from the video. I have to cut this one because it, it had broken. So, the trick is just take it, I just cut into three pieces. So, uh, einmal und noch einmal. Weil es hier ein bisschen lang ist, schneide ich aber nur bis hier nochmal. So, let me show you guys. It is slanted, alright? That's how you're supposed to cut it. Alright, let's continue. Right, not too much, about that much. And as I said with the chicken earlier, you can marinate it and put it in the fridge because that is the main base of taste aside the coconut. So you can marinate your chicken with um, spices of your choice. As I said, I used ginger, garlic, um, pepper and onion. And marinated that with some chicken stock um, 
and set that aside and came back to it later. You can use Huna Bruyer, you can use any other Bruyer you have, but Huna Bruyer is the best instead of salt. So after the five to seven minutes of cooking, we're going to add the spago. So we transfer it from here to here. Make sure to shake it so you have it looking like that inside. This is the point that you can add salt to taste if you think that the salt is not enough. So I ground in my black pepper and then I added some white pepper to make it a bit more spicy to make the taste full. So there we go with the white pepper as well. Then we let it simmer for a few minutes. You can serve it as soup in form of an appetizer and as I said earlier you can just grate in some lemon zest and garnish with parsley and serve or if you want to serve it as a sauce, a regular sauce. I served mine with rice, some rice and garnish with parsley. Here you go.